Our digestive tracts are full of bacteria, viruses, and other microbes that live in numbers larger than our human cells in our bodies. This is our gut microbiome. It's a whole unknown universe ready for exploration. It plays an important role in our health and the risk we have for disease in ways that we're only beginning to understand. But what's the link between our gut microbiome and vitamin D? A recent study sheds some light on this relationship and how very important it may be for our health. Especially so since more than half the world's population gets insufficient amounts of vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiency is associated with cancer, cardiovascular disease, and osteoporosis, but studies of vitamin D supplements have always found mixed results. Vitamin D is essential for many reasons, including maintaining healthy bones and teeth. It also protects us against a wide range of other diseases and conditions such as type 1 diabetes. The human body produces vitamin D as a response to sun exposure. But a person can boost their vitamin D intake with certain foods and supplements. However, a large clinical trial found zero evidence that vitamin D supplements prevented cardiovascular disease and cancer in older adults. And another trial found no evidence to show that taking vitamin D can improve bone health. This apparent lack of health benefits from widespread vitamin D supplementation has baffled medical researchers for years. A new study suggests a possible relationship between the active form of vitamin D and our gut bacteria. Scientists at the University of California, San Diego have now discovered a possible explanation for this. Their study suggests that gut bacteria play an important role in converting inactive vitamin D into its active health-promoting form. See, typically when researchers measure levels of vitamin D, they look at levels of inactive vitamin D to see how much the body stores. However, this new study looks at how vitamin D is metabolized rather than how much of it is stored in the body. When measuring how much active vitamin D older males had in their blood, the researchers found that its level correlated with the diversity of the community of bacteria living in their gut or their gut microbiome. The levels of active vitamin D correlated perfectly with the number of what they called friendly bacteria in the gut. By contrast, there was no strong association between the inactive precursor form of vitamin D and friendly gut bacteria. Senior author and lead researcher Dr. Deborah Cato points out that greater gut microbiome diversity is thought to be associated with good health in general. The correlation between the microbiome diversity in the active form of vitamin D remained even after adjusting for factors in the subjects like age, which states they lived in, ethnic background, and their use of antibiotics. But what's interesting as well is that the participants' levels of active vitamin D correlated much more strongly with microbiome diversity than any one of these other factors. Keeping our gut biome healthy and full of good bacteria has a lot to do with good health and even our immune system, which we cover in this other video that we'll link up in the cards on top of the screen for you that you, you can check out later. This is especially interesting given that people who live in sunnier places like California are able to synthesize much more of their own vitamin D through the action of ultraviolet light on the skin. And yet, this factor made no remarkable difference across the board for active vitamin D. And with this evidence, researchers concluded that it doesn't matter how much additional vitamin D you get, whether through sunlight or supplementation, or how much you can store in your body. What matters most is the health of your gut microbiota's diversity. There was a portion of the study focused just on osteoporosis. For this, they analyzed stool and blood samples from over 500 men living in six cities across the United States. The average age of the participants was 84, and most of them reported to be in good or even excellent health. Not only did the subjects with the highest level of activated vitamin D in their blood have the greatest microbiome diversity, but their guts also held more friendly bacteria species that produce butyrate. This short-chain fatty acid, which some types of bacteria in the colon generate when they digest fiber, has a wide range of potential health benefits. Research suggests that butyrate helps prevent colon cancer, lower blood cholesterol, and even fights insulin resistance. Which came first though, the chicken or the egg? 
Researchers say that their study was unable to determine whether high levels of active vitamin D allow butyrate producing bacteria to grow and thrive, or whether these special bacteria promote the conversion of vitamin D to its active form. And at the same time, the study could not prove that having a more diverse gut microbiota leads to better vitamin D metabolism. It only found an association between these two elements, leaving room for lots of new studies. Another limitation of the study was that the participants were predominantly older white males. Additionally, about three quarters of them reported that they were taking some kind of vitamin D supplement. And only 7% of the participants met the standard definition of vitamin D deficiency. Therefore, the findings of the study may not hold true for other populations, for people who do not take the supplement or for those who are classified as being deficient in vitamin. Check out our other videos for more health tips and ideas.